Greetings and welcome back to yet another episode of the daily run and today we're playing as Blue Baby. I was looking forward to this run, I was really excited because I love Blue Baby, I saw Mega Satan daily which means that it's same for everyone and I also know that this was my time to shine. But just because of how the whole run goes, I really enjoy those hard gritty dailies, especially when you're playing as a character which really doesn't have that much disposable HP and there's just so many things you can do with it. And of course I felt like this was gonna be one of the more skillful dailies but th that was kind of ruined by my impression of the first reroll in the very first treasure room and usually it's not that big of a deal but in this particular case what happened is that a lot of people or some people found epic fetus from it and of course just depending on which items you visit first and which rooms you go to and what you reroll beyond that it will just change the outcome of the items that you're gonna get uh, off that treasure room and of course in this case I didn't get epic fetus some people found it and I'm not really sure in what order other people did it but I assume they went to the boss room first and then they went back to reroll and that's maybe what would instigate that change of depending what you would get of course and uh, that's just some of those things that you really can't control I know a lot of people are upset about this and obviously it is a bit disconcerting because if you didn't pick it up since Epic Fetus tends to be one of those items which defines the run by itself if you didn't find it you're really gonna struggle and really have to do other things to compensate well whereas people that found it just have a pretty much not only a free win but they can also find all of the secret rooms all of the second secret rooms they don't have to worry about bombs anymore and it just gives them such a great advantage that if you didn't find it I would say that pretty much there's no chance for you to catch up with them of course that's not to say that you can't perform well or that you can't have a good score if you didn't find epic fetus obviously you can I'm just saying that it's much easier that if you did find it and obviously I think everybody realizes that so there's no point in me repeating it but uh, even though I did persevere and I think I play, 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 played really well up until a certain point and I think this is just one of those things where I feel like I played pretty much perfectly I don't think I got hit even once up until caves 2 and then something happened like on the outside my mom was trying to ask me something or whatever so I just paused for a second and, and my mind was elsewhere and just because the run was pretty weak overall that just kind of led me on a spiral of bad damage and as soon as you get hit once then you start maybe a bit tilting then maybe you become a bit less careful and at 2.0 speed which is a speed I'm not really comfortable with I, I got stuck in different chasms and paths and because you really can't see the difference between where the, the actual path is and where the, 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 the holes are I just got stuck somewhere and then I, I went into a position where I really couldn't get out of it and I just ended up dying and it's a really sh it's really a shame because I think up until this point you can see that I've, I'm trying really hard to not take any damage and really taking my time with these rooms I did kind of give up on the hope of boss rush but I still realize that there's a pretty good chance of actually finding it since I already have the Emperor card and I have the sacrificial dagger and I feel like I can do mom and Peter in pretty much something like 10 seconds with this particular loadout and that just leaves me with essentially one less floor to explore than if I didn't have these items at all so I didn't feel like I was that pressed for time I still felt like I had enough time to actually get to boss rush and I was even so lucky that I managed to get a restock which was on sale and that was just maybe due to virtue of chance and just me being a bit ballsy by just playing that real machine and the restock machine over and over but you can see up until this point just how much how much different the runs could have been and depending on which items you find and of course which restock machines you get and how many bombs you have how wasteful you are or anything like that can really result in different runs and if you didn't find restock in this situation I would imagine that you're left off in a much worse position than you would be otherwise and of course in this case I was trying to get to the shop as soon as possible try to get and load up on spirit hearts because that would let me get those devil deals it would just allow me to be a little bit safe so even though I felt like this run was really weak at this point of course we didn't have a lot of DPS I still felt like we would be okay because we can use our sacrificial dagger to deal damage uh, we have all the ways and all the conditions to have a good run in of itself and that would just allow us to really spiral out of control at some point and just become powerful just do the feature of the items that we have but of course what ends up happening is I end up walking into this next room uh, the big ship L room and I'm at one and a half heart due to some mistakes I've made and what happens is if you look very carefully here I try to lead them down they kind of hesitate a bit I go and I, I try to make a run for it down below but I get stuck on that little corner and then what I end up doing is I try to run over it and try to actually intentionally take damage but because there was the path which occurred I actually will end up walking into the path and then I get stuck myself in a corner which I couldn't get out of and that would have been okay because because I had sacrificial dagger right in the right place to actually deal damage to that enemy but for some reason as soon as I went towards that enemy he went a little bit back just due to random chance of how the spiders move and I ended up walking into him and then I ended up dying and 
it's it's a bummer because there's really I don't feel like there's a lot I could have done in that situation. Obviously, just play better and not get stuck. But besides making these mistakes, I really feel like the randomness and how these particular enemies react can be really tricky to deal with, especially if there's multiple amounts of them, since they're so unpredictable and random and they move in locations and positions which you really wouldn't expect them to. So there's really nothing you can do to predict them other than just really keep your distance. But of course, as soon as you get cornered. Uh, it just becomes this cluster where you really can't do anything and it, it's a bummer It happens to everyone I would imagine and we can have a bad daily every now and then I did enjoy that it was quite a bit short But I felt so bad because I just went through that boss room where, which had the champion version of peep and chop and then I fought um the the one of the mini bosses and I, I, I was playing I was so focused at that point that I really felt like I was playing so well I don't think I took one hit of damage in both of those rooms combined and even though later I, I came up until, until a certain point and then suddenly I just started taking damage one after another and that just led me to my death and even though my run was perfect up until this point the last three or four rooms have just basically made me end it it's a bummer that's what happens with blue baby and especially when you don't have that disposable HP but at least it was enjoyable to some extent. I hope you enjoyed this one guys and I hope to see you next time.